Have you ever imagined the worst case scenario? Would you know what to do if it happened to you? I am Penguin Grills. Using my survival skills and instincts, I'll show you what to do when everyday life takes a turn for the worst. Because the difference between survival and catastrophe is to have the right knowledge to make the right choice. In this episode, I will be locked in my closet, showing you how to get out alive. And I will find a person along the way. Together! We gotta get out of here! When kids wake up for school, people may not know that one million kids die each day from clo in the closet, which is like a gazillion each year. What are you doing in here? This is worst case scenario. What is that? It's a dead man. I had to save you. This is what my dad tells me to do. If somebody's dying, you do this. But I do this. And he tells me to do... <gasps> but I do this. <gasps> smoke in here. We, if there's smoke, you should normally do this to cover your mouth. But we, if I do that, I would die and not escape. So I'm gonna put it over cow. We're gonna get you out of here, cow. Put it. Normally, I would put it over my head, but there's somebody dying, so put it over the dying victim. Uh. I'm gonna have to break open this door. Stay here, cow. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna get you out. Ah, cool boy. Come on. Worst case scenario. Okay. How to survive a landslide. 
Would you A, curl into a tight ball and protect your head? B, prevent getting picked up by the debris flow by wrapping your arms around a tree so your back faces and direction of the landslide and your body is braced by the tree. See? Run with the landslide to ensure your head always stays above the level of flowing debris. A, B, or C. Find out after the break. To prevent yourself from a landslide, you would do A, curl into a tight ball and protect your head.